Hello there, Geminis. Welcome to your weekly reading. Um, I have a, 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 an image for you while I was shuffling out the spread. I see two stars in the sky and they're twinkling. They're both very bright. One is closer, one is a further away. And then I see you as a child, probably like 10, 11, 12, sitting on a log. Um, you're on a log. I see like the, the back of you and ahead of you is this cliff and you're looking at the night sky and you're seeing these two stars in the sky and I feel like there's this overall sense of contentment. You're very content, you're very happy, enjoying the simple things like looking at the night sky, identifying the stars and even looking at these stars twinkling above you, far away but above you, but also there's this element about, you know, wanting another person to share that experience with. So I feel like for those of you who are single, you're at a point in your life where you have made it, okay? So stars usually signify fame, recognition, achievements, inspiration, being where you want to be, getting that recognition, the fame, and the fortune associated with it. Um, but wanting to have another person to share that with, one, wanting another person to share your dreams with. And the stars are so far away, so it's al almost like, when is it going to be my turn? When am I going to have that person? And then I feel like for some of you, you're waiting for this big opportunity to uh, culminate, like uh, publishing, getting recognized, getting that fame and fortune. So I feel like you're on your path leading you to that, that greatness. It's not there just yet, but it is around the corner for you. And I feel like one big project is going to lead to the next and it's going to lead to the next and it's really going to propel you uh, to get that fame and fortune that you're really looking for. So it is around the corner. It is up there in the night sky. Uh, manifest it, pull it towards you. Okay, so keep focusing, keep working keep doing what you're doing and it's going to happen for you no matter what i see some of you are looking at a higher position and i feel like it is out there but it might require a geographical you know relocation and i feel like you're you you are aware of it and you're trying to manifest it but you might not want to budge from where you are because like I said, right in front of you is this cliff. It requires a big, big leap of faith. If I walk off that cliff, what's gonna happen to me? Am I gonna be able to soar? Am I gonna crash and, and you know have a really painful landing? Is there gonna be a safety net? So you're essentially, in order to get you where you need to be, um, there's a, a major, major fear that you have to overcome. I feel for some of you, this can be expressing yourself to another person that you you feel is your soulmate. Um, and then for others of you, this could be, you know, wanting to make that geographical relocation and fearing the uncertainty that lies ahead. But everything will be okay because I feel like you're fixated on the start. You're definitely manifesting you definitely feel that it's worth the risk, okay? But once again, you're still this 10-year-old, 12-year-old child sitting on a log and looking at it. Um, either way, what's coming in to the picture for this week? I feel like somebody, there's a lot of communication across great distances. So I feel like somebody might be coming to see you. You're possibly even thinking about travel and movement to come see them. I see somebody who's ready to leave your life within the next two months, within the next two weeks. Somebody is implementing some major, major move. And I feel like they're shifting away from you. Energetically, they have already shifted. Emotionally, they might have already shifted. And I feel like you're very connected to this person. There seems to me like a, a very strong soulmate connection. But for whatever reason, um, it was never given the opportunity to get off the ground, okay? I have here the Two of Cups, Soulmate Connection, somebody that you have a very kindred connection to. 
they understand you. They understand your quirks. They really care about you. And I, I feel like there's this sense of like caring about the other person, not just in a physical way, you know, like um, physical attraction, chemistry. It's, it's a lot deeper than that. And a lot of the times too, when it's so deep, it's really hard to express it. And it's really hard to understand it and even make sense of it. Where is this connection stemming from? And I definitely feel some past life energy. Past life energies can be very confusing. This person can trigger a lot of uh, feelings within you. The, the ability to love very deeply, the ability to care to, for somebody, on a very deep level but they can also trigger abandonment issues if they leave it can trigger a lot of estrangement a lot of anxiety a lot of uh, these deeply buried feelings and you might not know how to work them out you not, might not be able to make sense of it and you might not be able to understand it fully so i see a lot of confusion here um What's really interesting is uh, a lot of the times people manifest in our lives for signs, especially air signs, that are a little bit less in touch with their emotions, okay? Like uh, you and the Aquarius people, for example. And I'm starting to see it with uh, Taurus people too. Taurus people, I feel like getting in touch with their emotions, they're, they're not, they're a little bit emotionally blocked. And so what happens is the universe delivers a person and the universe um, will start out by, by giving you this really strong sense of physical attraction so that you're aware of the other person. You're aware of their physicality. You're aware of their physical proximity to you so that you become more aware through that physical connection with them. So that you, that, that's how you become aware of the other person. And then from that, you go into develop more of the emotional connection. And I feel like the universe has to do it in that way so that you are aware of how they stir feelings within you. It, it could start off with a physical connection to make you aware and then the, the emotional connection will develop from there. And so I definitely feel like you're being tested or you're given a soulmate connection and you don't know what to do with it, okay? I'm also feeling as well, you have a, uh, some of you might be in a marriage type of a situation where the, the lack of compatibility is not there, okay? Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the, the, the compatibility is not there. The compatibility is not there. You care about each other. You have a strong soul connection. But for whatever reason, I feel like too, you know, a lot of the times when we're in a relationship for too long, uh, too much has been said. We've been through too much with each other and we might want something new. And that's completely normal. And we can inject the new into old relationships. We can re-inject passion and chemistry and do things differently to revive a troubled relationship. We, we have the ability to do that. And you know, you guys are very creative, so it might be time for you to start doing that, okay? To really look at the situation and not just, not just accept it for what it is, but like really think about creative problem solving in order to make the situation more fun. Um, so I see a marriage and um, I feel like one partner is very, very strict and then the other partner feels like they're not getting their emotional needs met. I feel for some of you, you might be dealing with a water sign, a Pisces, a Cancer or a Scorpio. And then I'm also seeing fire energy, uh, Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. And I feel like there needs to be some newness. And what I meant by, you know, not accepting it at face value. So for example, we might feel like, oh, I've been in it for so long. It's natural to not have chemistry with the other person anymore. No, it's not natural. Relationships need to be worked at every day of the week, okay? It's an ongoing process. Everything in life that's worth having, we have to work at. You want that house? You have to constantly go to work. 
earn money to pay for the repairs, to pay for the maintenance, to pay for the mortgage, to pay for the property tax. We have to work at things. The relationship is something organic. It needs room to grow and so it needs to be worked at as well. And I feel like a lot of people do take things for granted. And the same thing that you do with your car, the maintenance, or the same things that you do with your house, the maintenance, we also need to maintain our relationships. And so I feel like that's something coming in that you need to be aware of. I'm also feeling like there is somebody here that is a really strong past life connection. And there's a lot of chemistry and this person really cares about you. They're constantly reaching out to you. They're showing their love, they're showing their appreciation and there are messages between you and this person. Um, and I'm also feeling like the messages are received from your end, but I don't see you responding to it. I see you emotionally, you know, you feel the same way about them, but for whatever reason, I feel like you're not really responding and I don't know why. Some of you might already have a new relationship and you don't want to stray. You don't want to feed that energy into that other person that's outside of the relationship, which is noble. Uh, some of you are really trying to, you know, do the right thing and not um, lead the other person on so you're not responding. And I feel like for those who are single, um, the attraction is really strong and you might not know what to do about it. Um, I see somebody coming to see you and I see you traveling, making arrangements to, to see them. And I also feel for some of you, um, in a work environment, you're wanting to, you know, take things to the next level. So for example, you're kind of like at a peak of your career or you're at a job where you're just like, I'm not, I started out, you know, it, like it, the job started out um, in a very big, passionate fervor. Like you, you had great expectations for it. And now you've at a, you're at a point where you're like, I want to take these skills and, you know, develop further. I want to move up in my career. I want the next step. And the next step might be, might not be in your vicinity. So once again, um, needing to make a drastic move in order to get to that next step. I see you scoping around, like scouting with binoculars, looking at what else is out there. Uh, how far do I need to travel? Um, how long is it gonna take me to get there? And, you know, making these practical arrangements so that you can propel your career to the next level. And I feel like this might not happen for many of you until like next year. I see the, the um, time of Aries. So late March to April is when the opportunity will show itself. You might get a, be getting some psychic hits about, you know, something's going to open up, something's going to happen. I see something big coming through. You might feel it but I feel like it might not show itself and you might not be able to apply for it. Like it's not yet open. So something is being rearranged or reshuffled around so that position opens up in the um, early springtime of next year. But it's really important for you to, you know, start pulling it closer to you, start manifesting it so that when it opens up, you're made aware of it. So this could be fixing up your resume right now. This could also be as well, um, stacking up your resume, like um, actively engage in either training opportunities, leadership opportunities, uh, learning a new language, taking a course, getting credit for the course, um, getting your, your, your um, what are those? Getting your transcript, like copies of it, or even enrolling in classes so that you can, you know, pad your resume so that when the job shows up, then you're going to be a prime candidate. Does that make sense? So I feel like you're preparing for something. You might already feel it or you might feel like um, it's out there. So this is a time for you to prepare yourself. 
okay for the next so let's see for the next five months um take whatever courses you need to take if you feel like it'll boost your ranking um fix up your resume add things we need to update our resume every year and more so if you've been sh um, like shuffling around and doing a lot of jobs so you need to really pad your resume you need to fluff it up you need to fix it you need to update it okay um, so that's the first step I feel that you need to take right now and taking more leadership courses is going to be good for you um, I also see a shrinkage when it comes to the work environment so that means some people might be leaving some job some positions might be closing down some reshuffling in your work environment and I feel like people that you might not have gotten along with for whatever reason they might be retiring they might be leaving which is great but then also be aware of why are they leaving is the place shrinking is there less funding is my position safe so these are things that you want to really think about, not just the people that are leaving and, you know, sighing a, a sigh of relief because they're leaving because you didn't like them in the first place, but really thinking about why are people leaving? So <clears throat> once again, I'm, I'm seeing the, the two stars, okay, um, twinkling, and I feel like I, I feel this sense of, you know, wanting to find somebody who is your kindred spirit. You're being called. For those of you who are relocating, who are moving, you're being called to where your kindred spirit lies. So I feel like the universe is putting something in motion for you to get to where you need to be not only for your fame and your recognition and your career development and for your achievements but it's somebody like a soulmate calling out to you so you are headed where you need to be in order to be closer to this person that you might not have even met yet but like the the events are put in motion um I'm seeing as well, you know, currently your emotional needs are not being met. And this could be at work. This could be with the people that you're around. They're cordial and they're very nice people. But for whatever reason, there is that, that lack of being able to have a soulful connection. I feel like everyone is just very ambitious and, you know, they might have a, a more cutthroat way of approaching things and so they're not like the most delicate types of people and so I feel like you're shifting away from that and you're trying to find people that are more like you you're trying to find people that have the same interests the same hobbies and you're being called to something bigger and and more appropriate for you I'm not gonna say it's better because I feel like it's bigger it has more of a grandiose purpose in the greater scheme of things in terms of your life, your personal development, your professional development. But it's not it's, it's not like we're we're comparing apples and oranges. So it's not like it's better. It's just different. And it's the next phase of your soul's evolution. So that's that's all that it is. It's where you need to be so that you can develop more so that you can be more well rounded. I see a need to pay closer detail, uh, attention to details, okay, numbers, um, figures, putting in commas, uh, decimal points, so I, I feel like you're crunching a lot of numbers, you need to be a lot more careful with numbers and, and things like that. Um, I'm also seeing as well, uh, for some of you, there is a mother figure. And I don't know if this is a mother-in-law, your own mother, or somebody who might have children that they're dealing with and they're struggling. But I, I feel like there is a mother figure who has been a little bit difficult, okay? She has been a little bit difficult. She wants things a certain way. She loves with great passion, but she can overstep her boundaries and she can be quite a character. She's strong and stubborn and and she might you know tell you what to do she might be a little bit bossy and I feel like 
I, I feel like you are aware of this, but then you're going to have dealings with her as well. And then I also feel, um, I also feel this element here about having a father that might be very stern. He's quite reliable, I, I, I'm sensing, but he's very stern. And then some of you, your father might have already passed away. He's on the other side. And I, I feel like he's, he's telling you to be a little bit more emotionally available. Okay, that obviously is not going to apply to all of you, but I feel like to enjoy the simple things in life, like looking up at the night sky, you know, and enjoying that moment and not worry so, so much about how you're going to get there. If there's this cliff in front of you, not thinking about like, uh, not worrying so much about the logistics of how it's going to happen, but that it's going to happen and it's going to be a smooth process and it's going to be okay. Um, smooth transitions coming through here two of wands travel movement somebody is facilitating the process for you it's going to happen and it's going to be smooth you're going to be protected so don't worry okay and then i have that father figure that has passed on here the emperor in the reverse you might not know this person like um if he passed away when you were very very young for example he's coming into the picture to tell you that you know, there's protection. He's also telling you to be a lot more emotionally available. Queen of Cups in the reverse. Be more emotionally available to others and to forge those soul connections and reveal how you feel. So if there has been a major barrier between you and another person that you have a very strong soul connection with, you need to show them how you feel. Okay, so this reading is running a little bit long, so I'm just going to leave it at that. I feel like you might have a lot of things to do, a lot of people to see. You might be surrounded by people. There is one person in particular you want to share their experience with. You wish were right next to you. That's what I'm feeling. And um, maybe you have to reach out, okay? So I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, Geminis, I wish you all the best. Take care of yourself and I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll be back next week, okay? For those who are celebrating Thanksgiving, I wish you all the best and uh, enjoy your time with your loved ones, your family, okay? Uh, take care and I'll talk to you soon.